Hey guys, I'm Shauna. I'm Jordan. And welcome back for another video with us. Um, today we are doing a super fun video, actually. Um, this and video is going to show all my flaws, basically. <laughs> I feel like that's what it's going to do. No, it's not. Um, but it is a who's most likely to video. So it's a fun video. So welcome, we hope you find it fun. All the negative ones are gonna be mine. No, they're not, no, they're not. Um, but we have to introduce what it is, so. I haven't even seen the questions yet, so. The most likely to challenge is basically just like it sounds. You, we ask a question, and each, each of us is going to say who is most likely to do whatever that thing oh, it's is. It's kind of like the shoe game at weddings. Yeah, it is, it's okay. like the shoe game at weddings. We have little photos to represent who, you know, the, the question is, who we think the question is. These were each hand cut by ourselves. <laughs> Super so, professional. Yeah. We're so legit. Anyways, so um, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of get started. We hope that you guys have fun with this with us. Um, if you, if it's the evening and you feel like grabbing a glass of wine, grab that glass of wine. I have my cup of coffee, so I'm ready to roll. You ready? No, but let's do it. Let's do this. Okay, so the very first question on here is, who's most likely to forget an anniversary? <laughs> I'm just gonna put this right here. <laughs> Jordan, what do you have to say for yourself? I mean, like, anniversary, like, I'm gonna remember that one, but I'm just terrible with dates and, like, remembering anything that it has to do with us. But so are you, too. All right, you are bad, but I'm just bad at playing. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna remember that it's the date. Yeah. But I'm going, I'm gonna not remember to plan something for that Yeah, date. so like you wouldn't forget our anniversary, but you would forget to buy me a gift for our anniversary. 100%, just have it on your birthday. <laughs> so like my birthday was this last Saturday and my gifts are starting to trickle in. I bought her presents on Saturday. <laughs> was it on Saturday? I think it was on Sunday. It was Saturday night, Sunday morning. So they're <laughs> coming oh in. Oh gosh, all right, well, it's okay. Number two, I still on. love you. Um, number two is who's most likely to forget why they walked into a oh, room? <laughs> 100%. Okay, maybe this won't be so bad. Hi uh, guys, I am very, there's a lot of things happening in this brain. I have a lot of, a lot going on, a lot on my mind all the time, and I literally all the time am like, wait, why am I on my phone? Wait, what was I gonna do on the computer? Wait, what am I grabbing from this room? And to add on this, uh, who's most likely to um, get yelled at for why they forgot to walk into the room? <laughs> like, Jordan, um, why am I in here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna drink my coffee. All right, next one. Uh, Who's most likely to embarrass the other person? Hold on, I need a second to think before you hold this up. Really? I don't know, this is hard. Like, I kind of feel like it's yeah. you. I feel like it's me too. Okay, yeah, Jordan has like, no shame ever. Yeah, you're right, it's definitely you. I mean, it depends, yeah. No shame. I was shame. gonna say, it depends on who we're around, but. It's you. Sometimes it's, it's filter, almost always you. Yeah, you always destiny. say things that you're not, the lack of filter. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, next one. <laughs> um, who's most likely to buy the other person a gift they hate? I'm terrible at gift giving. So I'm more likely to buy you a gift that you hate? Buy a person a gift. Okay, so I, I'm, buy, a, buy the other person a gift they hate. Okay, I misread the question. So hold up your correct answer. I don't know still. You think I give you gifts that you don't like? No, I, I, that, that, I, don't, I don't like that question. I don't know. <laughs> we'll just forfeit the question. Yeah, for real. <laughs> the question's gone. Hey, gone. Who's most likely to fall asleep during a movie? <laughs> this chick has narcolepsy. <laughs> it's accurate. I probably do. Chick will want to watch this movie and then <laughs> doubt. And then, what happened? I don't know. Watch yeah, the movie. The worst is me being on my phone during movies. Let's just do who's most likely to be on their phone at any time during anything. <laughs> And then ask questions. <laughs> I'm the worst. Girls, do you do the same thing? Can you please leave a comment below if you also like get distracted during movies and then have to ask to be caught up? Because I'm I can't be alone. sure I'm not alone either as far as <laughs> yeah. Who's most likely to keep their mouth shut when they're upset? Oh, Jordan does yes. not know how to express himself. Nope. It's not that he doesn't know how to, it's that he's like the kind of person that doesn't want to start an argument. So you're more likely to just like yep. bury things down. Eat and then... it, you get it off your chest, I'm gonna soak it in because I'm gonna probably, I'm, I'm going to forget it and move on quicker. Yeah, he, he doesn't dwell on things a lot, which is, makes the it's relationship easy, yeah, but sometimes it's like, I can't read your mind, so, but I love you. Um, who's most likely to burn d the dinner that they're cooking? I guess of, out of all the dinners you cooked, yeah, it's probably most likely to be me, because like I said, I don't really cook. Yeah. But. 
How is it not an easy? I don't know because I feel like I'm I'm more on the other end. I'm more likely to undercook a dinner I'm cooking. So I mean, burn yes, but I'm probably more likely to undercook something. Just because okay. like you're reading into the question a lot. Okay, then move on. Who's likely? <laughs> who's the most? Who's most likely to win a board game? Yeah, we agree. You How come? Yeah. And you've kicked my ass in every other game we've played. So. I don't know. You won recently at Catan, so that was impressive. It was one out of like eight. Yeah, so. yeah. There was beverages involved too, so I'm gonna say that I was off my game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's most likely to throw a fit when they lose a board game? Yeah. <laughs> Can Again, you I'll just I'll just eat it and move on. I like said <laughs> I'm a much better loser than you are. Shauna's just too competitive. I'm super competitive. And I just called Partic you Shauna, but. <laughs> Particular, and there's not even alcohol involved in this video. <laughs> should be, I think it's just the caffeine I had. We two should have. Coffee. Maybe we should take an intermission and go get a glass of wine. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we are back. Um, mm -hmm. please, mm -hmm. please pardon the ice cubes. We forgot, we have like a stockpile of white wine because COVID. 19 um but we forgot to put white wine in the fridge so that's because we finished a bottle already so there's that yep okay back to the game who's most likely to bring home a stray puppy Ooh, this is tough but i'm still gonna go here yeah you would also like you would definitely be we're pretty close on that one yeah but i'm probably more likely to steal a puppy that wasn't actually a stray or i just, just love a, i want all animals or just a, not, not necessarily just a stray but just a puppy yeah. You're, you're not going to bring home any kind of puppy. Any kind of animal. Like, if it's a stray, I know okay, I'm going to find its home and it's going to go somewhere. Yeah, but you wouldn't Yeah, you wouldn't try to keep the stray. You would no. try to rehome it. Yeah. I would try to keep the stray, which this actually happened recently. It did. Fun fact. Um, we'll who's get some Who's... Yes, we are. Who's most likely to sleep until noon? Um... It's a tough I'm one, gonna too. I'm going to say you. I'm going to say me, too. I'm more likely to sleep until noon. But she's more likely to, to sleep, sleep at noon. Or to sleep like at random hours of the day, for sure. Because you do. Yeah. yeah. So. Like I'll take random naps all day long and then wake up and do whatever. Yeah. By the way, this is why we have a schedule. Because if we don't, I do whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, I'm just more likely just to continue sleeping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because um, I don't really nap. Mm -hmm. Who's most likely to steal shampoo from a hotel room? But yeah. Probably Shauna, mainly because she either forgot to pack her own or because she <laughs> yes. used too much of it in one session. Yep. Or forgot to refill her travel size bottle or buy a new one kind of thing. You so think she would how have to travel or steal something because she's already ran out or forgot to pack it. Mm -hmm. But it's not stealing when it's free. Yeah, Jordan is so organized when it comes to traveling. He's honestly amazing. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have 90% of like my, my, my like, I wouldn't have like the bathroom stuff that I need. Mm -hmm. Like when it comes to work stuff, I'm on it. I have everything I need. I'm also the person that's like, oh, I can just buy it when we get there if I don't have it. Right. <laughs> You're my my shampoo and soap travel size are always refilled mm -hmm. before I leave the house, no matter if it's a, a week long vacation or a two day vacation. Yeah, I don't always refill it. I'm like, oh, there's probably enough in here to last. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Never is. Um, who's most likely to eat a bag of chips in one sitting? Oh. I'm going to say here. I would say that too. Jordan has very little self-control when it comes to snacking. Especially when they're tasty. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Who's most likely to take pictures of the other while they're sleeping? Have he it, always it. takes pictures of me, you guys. He used it on my birthday post yeah. that he posted. Well, she looks cute, but the fact that she's also narcoleptic means she falls asleep in fun places everywhere. <laughs> like the airport. Yeah. But we travel a lot, so it happens a lot. And also, when you have a 10-hour layover, what else are you going to do you, in the airport? Your sleeping photos are not blackmail. If you take a photo of me when I'm sleeping somewhere, I am passed out. My mouth is open. Like. I mean, um, I don't think anybody loves the way they look when they sleep. Have you seen you cuddling your dog when you nap? Oh, that's okay. really sweet. Okay, right. brownie points for Jordan. Yeah. Brownie points. Trying to make right. up for that birthday gift I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> who's most likely to steal all the blankets? And then who's most likely to complain that they're hot? Because she has all the blankets. And I'm just hot then, all the time. She's, she's under a blanket with a dog in her lap and complains that they're hot and yet turns the fan on but doesn't adjust the blanket with the dog. It's about comfort. But yet, who's the one that complains about it? I know, but like the blankets the and the dog bring me comfort. Like heart comfort. 
I'm also an oven, so there's really not a lot I can do about it. Yeah. All right. Who's most likely to lose their keys? Who's Why most likely to lose their wallet? Who's most likely to lose anything in their purse? Who's most likely to lose their purse? I've done that before. And then? I have lost my purse. I left my purse in a different state one time, and they had to ship it to me. The restaurant I was in <laughs> shipped my purse to me. Yeah. And then who's most likely to blame the other person that they lost something? Or blame that they can't find it? Like their expo disc? Or their stool? I don't blame. I just days. ask you if you happen to know where they might be. Not in that tone. <laughs> no. That's not true. Um, who's most likely to forget to pay a bill? Hmm. I know my answer, but I'm just going to wait for him to raise his card. That's a tough one, but I feel like it's going to be me. I agree. When it comes to like finances, I'm very um, on top. Like finances, business, like I'm on top of stuff, guys. And I'm not an unorganized person either. I just ha like, no. I'm thinking about so many things that like, I can set my phone down and just completely forget that I put it down because I'm thinking about 9,000 other but things. Between the both of us, I'm probably more likely between the both of us, but yet... I, Neither of us are highly likely to do I that. don't think I've ever forgotten. To yeah. Do. Yeah, no, I agree. You're not like. Like, I have you're my not, auto pay and, like, you know, yeah. these things go out. Yeah, I don't think to. that you ever would miss a bill, but of the two of us, you would be the most likely to because I'm just so unlikely to. Now, back in the day when I was a teacher working six jobs and I had negative, you know, $2 in oh my, my account gosh. at times, and yeah. you know, bills would come out, and then the, the bank's going to charge you $35 because you didn't have enough funds, and then you're just There's like, nothing you can do. Yeah, yeah. those days happen for yeah. everyone who was a teacher because okay. you make no money. Off our soapbox. Yeah. Okay. Who's most likely to win a reality TV show competition? I don't know. I mean, like, if it's physical, like the challenge, because I love that show and I wanted to be on it and I still do uh, for MTV, I feel like that because, but on the same time, like, physical competition, I feel like I would do very good at, but it's just like the strategy and stuff like that. If it's strategy based and like there's nothing really you know, physical about it, it's you. <laughs> physical, me, I, like strategy, saying, you. If there's nothing physical at all happening, I shot I would win that. <laughs> like, well, I'm like, not like a non -physical. The circle, the circle. I know, but I'm not a non-physical person. Like, social media one, I would probably be the first one to get eliminated because I don't think I had that much. I do agree if it was like a strategy game, I'm definitely yes. more strategic 100%. and think ahead at things. But honestly, like you just do better under pressure in general in terms of like competition. You handle competition a little bit better than I do. Yeah. I get nervous and then I don't want to lose. And then, yeah, so, all right. Who's most likely to turn down an invitation out to stay home and watch Netflix? Um, it's probably you. It's definitely me. I'm a homebody. Believe it or not, I'm actually an introvert, which blows people's minds. I'm thriving right now, you guys. But I drink she'll, wine she'll and watch your my phone. phone. <laughs> I was just gonna say, like, y'all, like, hey, Shana, what show do you want to start now? Whatever. I really don't like anything on Netflix right now. Do you guys have any Netflix recommendations? Because we've I've run through plenty. a lot of shows. And I don't guess like what? Them. I ask, I ask you, what show you want to watch? I don't like any of them. And then I ask your opinion, and I don't get a response. Because I don't like any of them. That doesn't help. Then find some shows. Can you guys help me find some shows on Netflix? All right, next one. <laughs> Who's most likely to get up on stage and sing karaoke? Uh, see, I say you. Now, if I've had two bottles of wine, probably. Because I've got like my one or two karaoke songs. But... I don't like my voice. You can actually sing. You've got a much, much better voice. Well, that's it nice. It sounds good. I mean, I was in choir, and I'm not like necessarily afraid to sing, but I do get stage fright when I sing on stage. I don't get so. up on stage to sound good. I get up on stage to hopefully make somebody laugh at my failures. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so, who's most likely to win a dance contest? I didn't know which one I had. You were pretty aggressive about that turnaround, Jordan. Yeah, I was. Now, you're a good dancer. You said you're wet on your feet. You are good. But I don't know if I've ever actually... I take that back. I have seen you dance. Like, yeah. I don't know. I'm just getting... I'm thinking too deep on these questions now. <laughs> just trying to keep it short and sweet. No, yeah. no but Jordan is a really good dancer. So, but as far as, like, a dance contest, now. for sure, you would be more likely to win a dance contest because he's, like... Cause I've like, been I few. can dance, but he can, like, I don't know how to explain it. I've been in a few dance-offs. 
And let's just say I want them all. Okay. Um, <laughs> who's most likely to send a double text? Like you text someone and then you text them again immediately after. It's like, I'm sorry, this oh. is the way I am. I, that is like my pet peeve when people and text me. guess what? I do. I do it. Like. I don't do it with everyone, but I do it with you because it's like a conversation to me. But, okay, so like people It's like will, an instant messenger. So you answer a question with a text, right? You answer what, like if there's three, three questions, you'll answer the, the text with three separate texts, mm -hmm. right? Me, I will answer them all in one text, but I will put a space in between. Sometimes I do that too. So that but was like just if, one notification. If we're just conversational, I'll be like, hey, what's up? What are you up to? I don't know. I can't think of examples, but I will send multiple texts. Only to the people who I'm close with. Like, I don't do it with everyone. Oh, but it just like bugs me. Even when I hear somebody else's phone go, ding, 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 ding. Coming from the guy who's in more group chats than anyone else in the human race. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who's most likely to become friends with a stranger over the internet? You have. This is my life. This is what I do. <laughs> yeah, Welcome to a, our YouTube channel. This is how our business thrives. <laughs> Welcome right here. to our channel. Um, but no, seriously, yeah. I mean, if there's anyone who ever needs anything, I have a very big servant heart, so you're always welcome to send me DMs. I don't know what Jordan was looking at. Nothing, I'm just thinking. Like oh, I said, I'm okay. terrible at like, just communication in general, so trying to make a friend over the internet is not going to work in my favor. Yeah, but definitely me. I'm like an outgoing introvert. It's an odd combination. Um, and then the last one that I have here, who's most likely to spend an hour in the bathroom? I'm gonna say here. Now it's not because I'm getting ready. No. It's because I've had, if it's Wednesday morning after Taco Tuesday, that's probably, <laughs> <laughs> probably why. I'll be in there. For Jordan, and like he'll like get into <laughs> organizing things and he's just like always in the bathroom. So not necessarily like even in the bathroom, just like like not the bathroom bathroom, but he's just like in our physical bathroom a oh, lot. Picking my face basically is what you're trying to say. I wasn't not gonna say that. You put did, that on the she, internet. She she knew I said what you, she was yeah, I said. she was poking the bear on me and she wanted to me. No, to I was saying like you organize stuff. And like you're just in there. You spend time in there. But I was I, not saying that. You sold yourself out on I know, that. I do pick my face a lot. So Jordan cares a lot about his skincare, which is actually surprising and super awesome because he's gonna be a fun looking 60 year old man. I like the nose strips. I don't know. Okay. I like Anyways. clean pores. Okay. <laughs> We're done there. It's done. Okay. The ship has long sailed. I had also asked on my Instagram if anybody had any questions of like who's most likely to do whatever the thing is. And we do have a few questions on here, so I thought I would answer them just in case they're watching and okay. they're wondering what they are. So I think there's only two on here. Okay, so there's two on here right now. I posted this last minute. I'm so sorry. I should have done this yesterday. Um, but the first one is who's most likely to dye their hair pink? Dye their That's hair a pink. hard one. I'm going to say. I feel like it's you. See, I was gonna say you because you frosted your tips back in the day. In fifth grade. But I'm just saying. Okay, maybe I did when I was you like a kid. You would do it for like a part. Like, yeah, you're if right. You had to do it for like a bachelorette party or like some sort of. Or theme Asher's party. birthday, my yeah. nephew. I do anything yeah. for that kid. I was Tinker Bell for his birthday this. When year. it comes to my hair, like I don't know anymore. Like. Yeah. I I just. I guess maybe one me. way, and I, I I stick with it. Yeah, I guess maybe I me. Okay, and the other one that I have on here is who's most. This is a good one. Who's most likely to clean up around the house? Okay, so we have to explain here. We're both neat freaks, even though Jordan will argue that I'm not because he is. He thinks he's cleaner than I am. No, you are. You are clean, but. You, who's most likely to leave clothes on the ground or foam on the like? No, dish? I don't leave clothes on the ground. In in your own like in your closet, you do. My closet is so clean. I have clothes folded sitting on top of my dresser because okay. I want to wear them again. But then, who's most likely to leave like a jacket or an article of clothing in the car? I am most likely to leave shoes in the car because I always have to have a spare set of shoes in case, like heaven forbid, a mm -hmm. pair of shoes breaks on a wedding day. So I'll leave shoes in the car. Jackets I leave in the car okay. because I want them for the future. But then also, yes, uh, we have a two-story house, so I'm pretty bad about like stuff downstairs that has to come upstairs. But by pretty bad, guys, I mean like it's like one or two things at a time. It is not like what the average messy. No, yes, I am yes. definitely not a messy person. No. I am very clean. No, um, 
but when it comes to actually cleaning the house too, Jordan actually does all of that. So mm -hmm. um, one, we have a Eufy, like one of those robo vacuums and it's the best thing we've ever invested in in our me. life. So that cleans our floors for us. But that and the new Dyson handheld has been a life too. Yeah, we have too. a new Dyson that's really great. <clears throat> But when it comes to like just the, like laundry and other like type of cleaning, Jordan handles that all the way. Um, I'm usually working on stuff in the business and he gets all of it done for me and he is a saint and I love him for it and he's fantastic and I don't think I've ever unloaded our dishwasher, ever, <laughs> or taken out the trash. Yeah, for real. Like in this house, I never have done either of those things. So, I'm the reason our house doesn't smell bad, but she's the reason that we're in the house. Oh, that's sweet. Right? <laughs> that's sweet. I like it. Okay. Um, Anyways, all right, you guys, we hope that you had some fun and some lightheartedness um, brought to your, you know, lies and screens this morning. Um, if you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe below. We are so excited to have you joining us. Um, and yeah, just have a great day. For sure. And hopefully I wasn't too close because I just realized I was laying on the table like 95% of this video. That's okay, me too. Okay. It's all good. All right, take care, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>